Sziasztok, ma Dac, Szlován a HFV-n. Egy mérkőzés, amit senkinek nem kell bemutatni. Tartsatok velem! Hi guys and a warm welcome back to HFV. We are traveling to the northern neighbors of my country today, to Slovakia, for one of the most fierce and infamous fixtures in the country. Fortuna Liga round 19, Dac 1904 against Slovan Bratislava. Is it considered a derby? The two towns Bratislava and Dunajska Streda in Hungarian Pozsony and Dunaszerdahely are 41 kilometers from each other, so definitely not a local derby. A regional derby? Quite much. In fact, this is a rivalry reaching beyond the country's borders. The away team Slovan are the people's team in Slovakia, whilst DOTS or DAC, if you like, are the people of the Hungarian minority living in Slovakia. The hatred here is quite many times out of reach, it doesn't stop after 90 minutes. But now, instead of talking about controversial topics, I want to make you sure that this video is not intended to stir up hatred. Quite the opposite. It's meant to calm it down by concentrating only on the action and the support inside the stadium. Banter? Part of it. Atrocity? Absolutely not. This channel is intended to develop community. I've been to a Dots Slovan four years ago. Dots won it 1-0, but by the time Slovan were mathematically champions. But today, Slovan is in reachable distance for Dots. New league leaders if there's a home victory by a minimum of two goals. In every other case, Slovan remained top. Last 10 head-to-head, -head, two Dots wins, five draws and three Slovan victories. Not a huge difference in the market values of the two squads, but Slovan are ahead by 5 million euros. Our venue today... Mall Arena with a 12,700 capacity. About the crest of DOTS, it was changed in 2021 and to be fair, it's quite a drastic change. The previous one included many more symbols. I was telling you this because I'm quite much into logos and crests, but it doesn't have any importance in terms of the game. So let's hit the road.
Dzień wielki dzisiaj Kolona Ada. Zapast bez serca, bo to katowanie muzy, wyrywacji. Ano, a go inak. Lena, plac, słowa. Zapast bez serca februar. Nie wiemy, ta rozokazy był tak, a czwili mąż, byli bači, bo do cent kuli tam, a do jaha, z 1962 i 68 szkerleti bajnów czapatej Tokio. The head coach of the Hungarian national team, the current head coach, is on the pitch to take the kickoff unofficially. So you can see now how much of a Hungarian team this is in Slovakia. Yeah, and the, the response from the the response from the away support. The match is underway. Palmar with the corner, six minutes. Seventh minute, one nil. That's a lucky deflection after the cross, and it was in for the second time of asking. And what an atmosphere here after the goal! The whole stadium celebrating the limbs. Insane, one nil. Clear to the line. Winter had a really important. Really big save there. Getting heated in these minutes. Well, this was in the game, unfortunately. Just about caught the moment, but it was actually a last man foul. Dots down to 10 men in the 40th minute.
last chance in the first half. The usual build-up before the game and then a fiery, a really fierce start to the game with the early lead, four dots after that shot hit the post and from the rebound it was in and then Slovan had a great chance cleared off the line by a header. The red card is quite unfortunate for the home team so for them it's gonna be more about defending. The atmosphere is also really good in the first 10 minutes after that not so good hoping for some recovery in the second half. Which city did you come from for today's game? Yeah, I come from the capital city Budapest. Uh, this is my first time being here and uh, I've been enjoying it so much. How did you see the first half and the choreography of the Homewood Trust? Yeah it was amazing just uh, looking forward to the uh, second half and uh, yeah such a shame that we got the red card early in the game. I hope we can get at least the draw. It will be really difficult, but I uh, came here to support and I'll do that. So it's basically a tradition, as you heard, for Hungarians to come here for dots against Slovan for this game. Nice. Keep us both. Great save. Nine thousand and one hundred people in the stadium today. Ball cut out really well. The pass was late. The pass was too late. Despite the recent counter chance for Dots, Slovan came away, they kept on pushing, they are one man up and now this is the result of their constant pressure, a bit similar to the first goal, it was in from the rebound, 1-1. One, one. Got out to the left side, Gavric, really good skill. Oh, deflected and then cleared away. Doesn't count, offside. They were close to 1-2, but the draw remains.
the three-point difference remains Slovan still top with this draw. Slovan had more chances, especially after the sending off. Dots weren't accurate enough on the counters to deserve a win. I promise to avoid controversial topics, but also to explain the meaning of the song before the game, as well as the reaction of the Slovan supporters. If you're Hungarian or Slovakian, you obviously know the reasons, but if you're not, you must be asking yourself, what's the reason behind all this? I'll try to explain it now in an impartial way, I'm part of one of the nations, so there is no guarantee that I will succeed in that, but I'll really try my best. What is the song Nelkület translated as Without You about? It's about mourning 20th century traumas of the Hungarian nation. It's about expressing people's emotions who suddenly found themselves in a different country, away from their homeland, because of political decisions. Not the people living there today, present day, but their ancestors, obviously. Why is there a Hungarian minority in Slovakia? Because the territory used to belong to Hungary before World War I. These are historical facts as far as I know, but you're more than welcome to educate me in the comments below. Keeping these feelings through generations fueled the hatred between the two nations. Playing this song is a provocation for Slovan supporters, that's why they reacted the way they did. There were insults from both sets of supporters throughout the game towards each other's nations. It is Slovakia today, so the Slovan fans' reaction is understandable. It used to be Hungary, that area, that southern area has a lot of Hungarians in it, so the Dots fans' reaction and tradition is also understandable, I guess. I oppose every form of hatred, at the same time this is what we saw and it can't be solved in a random video. To summarize, we didn't see any big surprises in the fans' behavior today. I hope the explanation was clear and acceptable for you. Back to less depressing topics, it was really great to see the togetherness of supporters and the teams respectively after the game. The Pyro Show and the TIFO was also one to remember, great job. I would be happy to return to our northern neighbors to experience more of the Slovakian football culture. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed. Join me on social media if you're up for more. I was AJFV, see you in the next one. Goodbye. Köszönöm, hogy velem tartottatok a felvidéki túrára, találkozunk legközelebb. Sziasztok!